next two guys. We've got Dreamer. Yes, yeah, this Phil is Russell. a fight to and watch. These two, Dreamer these and guys Russell. can actually fight. We saw yes. Dreamer throw in some gnarly kicks. tornado kicks. Yep. Like legit, this could be a really fun little scrap. Yeah. Yep. And Russell is awesome because he updated us on the whole crypto. And actually, together with Wimmer, they were both helping us. Let's go ahead. Bring these guys in. This is Dreamer here. I've been more of a casual martial arts nerd. Super nerdy, super awesome, but it was always casual. My name is Phil Russell. I've been battle tested. 489. A large group of Brazilian men have tried to break me open like a small sea urchin. We really like to roll on the ground with sweaty dudes and stretch each other out. Gotta get the hammies. But we're not gonna be rolling around. We're on our feet, fighting like grown-ups. I don't care if your friends show up, hopefully one of members of your family, I'm gonna beat them all. I'm gonna take on grandma. Do they have the chance to put on some gloves? I am a champion. Put on some karate gi. I will not be beat. And smack you around, I'm gonna do it. Let's go. I am going to not only show up, I will win. All right. Okay. That's a legitimately fun promo. I'm kind of I love to this. that. Phil's hilarious. I don't, so, I don't Phil know. Russell training out of Boca Raton. The Dragon Russell. Yeah. He basically said the game plan for this one is to stick and move. Put hands on his face as much as possible. Training out of Boca Raton. It, you didn't even have to tell me that's where he was training out. <laughs> I, I see Boca Raton. I mean, look, he filmed that promo in a BTT gym, so he's at a good gym. Yeah. You know. That, that, that's going to really push over all the skill in him to be at that gym. And we welcome uh, Dreamer. Abram Wimmer. And Dreamer. Right corner, we have Dreamer. He does have a black belt in Taekwondo, and he's trained a lot more Muay Thai for this camp. You see, he's never actually competed. Um, and he hasn't actually ever trained, sparred full contact, but he's been training for 20 years. Yeah. So, hey, better late than never to get in there and uh, get stuck in. And he says he's going to try to land a tornado kick. Yeah. And what I saw him mean? throw a tornado kick, and he did it pretty, pretty good. Warms my heart, karate-style Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Both of these oh. guys are project leaders. They're actually not influencers. They're representing their respective projects. Got it. Yeah. I will say this. I'm sure the crypto community is happy that Dreamer is a 69% uh, favorite in this fight. I'm sure that gets the, the, the crypto community pretty excited. Very fond number. Dreamer so, representing, I believe, Defi Kingdoms. Were, were you trying to make a joke there? No, it's not a joke. <laughs> I thought 69 was like a whole thing. Oh, George. 69. I thought you said 65. That's why I did. No, yeah. 69. I thought it's like okay. a thing. Isn't, <laughs> it, isn't it like a George? Why you got to diss me? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I thought that was a Fight number six, Mike versus George. I was just going to say the same thing. <laughs> well, I didn't... It is altitude. It's just a con quick comment, dude. <laughs> I want to know what's going on between Robin and, and the website guy from before. <laughs> Get the heck down. I'm kind of curious what's going on now. Yeah. Oh. They're going to do the... Uh, Mong Kong thing? Yeah. But uh, he's no Monk Young, he's not wearing it. George, oh, look, everybody's it. saying 69, nice. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, like, come on, George, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> I thought you said 65, so it didn't work on me because <laughs> I had the number wrong. <laughs> Otherwise, so, you would have understood it. Dreamer and Phil Stood. Russell in the pit here. All right, this is the fight Ready? to watch. Ready? Here we Ready? go. Ready, Ready to watch the jiu-jitsu guy get kicked in the face? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Crypto Russ is locked in right now. He's not, this is not a laser guided. George, can I ask you, is, oh, oh, it, yeah. oh. is your hando Crypto Russ or is it Cryptos Are Us? Cryptos Are Us. Ah, there we go. Someone yeah, told me it was Cryptos yeah. Russ. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he used the pit wall. Yeah, oh. a little Superman punch like off the that. wall. I like it. Tornado kick coming up. We didn't have any ring card girls this this whole event. Oh! oh, oh big left back from Phil Russell. Oh. The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu man wow. has knocked Dreamer wow. unconscious. Wow. 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 
fell. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what the wow. fuck? Watch, watch, take a look at the replay here. Just a big left hand. Oh yeah. Bro. Pause and left hook landed. Bro. That's oh, the that's the Boca Raton coming out of him. That's the Boca coming out of him. George did not disappoint with this guy. I told you guys. Holy shit. These guys know how to fight. I love that he clapped his hands before he was down. As they say on Twitter, get wrecked, buddy. Holy shit. Wow. Dreamer is still out. What do you think about that, George? That was amazing. Phil, you guys saw the promo video. He came off like all goofy, but he came in all he business. Freaking landed. He landed a cross, then the hook he landed, and then the cross follow-up cross he missed because the phase already I mean, moved look, out of I, the I'm way. Gonna, I'm going to just go ahead and assume he's a purple belt in jiu-jitsu because he was wearing a purple belt in a jiu-jitsu gym. The point I want to make is you've got a guy who's hit a bag for 20 years and never pressure tested himself versus a guy who's put the hard work in to get a purple belt getting crushed yes. on the mat day in day out in jiu-jitsu okay. that is what pressure testing does yeah if striking may not be his primary discipline but hey you're used to getting in an actual middle. scrap yep you're right Give me your hand. is it somewhat serendipitous that dreamer ended up sleeping <laughs> <laughs> is that come on is that somewhat serendipitous Winner, by knockout, out of the blue corner, Phil, the Dragon Russell. So of course, my friends, we have seen some nonsense tonight. There's no question, and I have a feeling we're gonna see some more. But you know what? When ma good matchmaking is done, you take people of, of a blend of novice skills with a little bit of intermediate Dude. battle oh, like buddy. Josh said, and you put them together, and you get a high-quality fight, even with low-quality combat athletes. That punch to the cross, really it's a ridge hand, an imperfect shot, but when an athlete has his feet on the ground and is committed to bludgeoning another human, and he hits him, it creates a coup contra coup injury, and people go to sleep. It was a beautifully matched fight, and if we do oh. this again, and I don't know if we should, but if we do, <laughs> let's put those guys back together again. That was a really, really nicely matched fight.